but when I look back on our relationship, I always think about our first vacation. I figured I'd try to impress you, so I took you to Toronto in February, in the middle of a snowstorm, to a two-star hotel. There was one channel on the TV, the oven didn't work, and we could barely afford the appetizers at dinner, but it was the best trip I'd ever been on. Not surprisingly, our rental car had some trouble on the black ice on the ride home. I could tell you were nervous, so I pretended not to be. I wanted you to know that no matter the weather, you would always be safe. Blame it on adrenaline or lack of sleep, but when we finally slid our car into the Enterprise lot, you told me you loved me. Though my love for you started almost eight years ago, it was much earlier than that. My hopes and dreams were always to find a man like you, my person, my forever best friend, one who enjoys the little things in life, one who inspires me, and one who shares their kind heart and soul with the world. Throughout our time together, you've made me a better person, and I admire the good you bring to those around you and life itself. Quinn and Stu, we have heard your promise to share your lives in marriage. We recognize and respect the covenant of marriage that you have made here today before each one of us as witnesses. And therefore, in the honesty and sincerity of what you have said and done here, it is my honor to declare you henceforth to be husband and wife. And of course now, Stu, yes, you may. Yeah, yeah.